Hello again. In this uh, question, we are given that uh, we're talking about the human body. It is given that you can approximate the area to be one meter square, right? And uh, it is given that the human body is 10 Kelvin at a temperature 10 Kelvin more than the surrounding. The surrounding temperature is given to be 300 Kelvin, right? So the amount of heat that is radiated, you know, is sigma into area, which is one into T raised to 4, uh, which is the body temperature minus T naught raised to 4. So we are treating this body like a perfect black body. So we have taken the emissivity to be 1. Now, uh, you want to find in the first option the amount of change in the heat that is radiated. So uh, if we talk about small changes, you could say that delta Q dot is of, uh, is of the form sigma into uh, T will be constant, so this is uh, T raised to 4, this is the body temperature, since that is not changing, the change in it will be 0, minus uh, the change in the amount of uh, temperature in this, you can differentiate that 4 into T naught cube into delta T. So let's call it delta T naught. So you can see that how the change in this heat radiated is proportional to 4 times sigma into T naught cube into delta T naught, right? So the option A is correct. The next one is reducing the exposed surface area allows the human body to maintain the same body temperature while reducing the energy loss. That is obvious since you will be reducing the area. So in this term, this area term which we had substituted as 1, this will decrease and hence the amount of heat radiated decreases. The second option was actually that the body temperature rises significantly than the peak in the spectrum of electromagnetic waves radiated by the body would shift to longer wavelength. So you know Wien's displacement law lambda m uh, into t is equal to a constant. So when, as t increases lambda will decrease. Right. So as temperature increases wavelength will shift to the smaller wavelength. So it shifts to the higher frequency. That is why option B is incorrect. And last one is the amount of energy radiated by the body in one second is close to 60 joules. So to find this, you have the expression Q dot is equal to sigma into uh, T raised to 4. So you can write it as T naught plus 10 raised to 4 minus T naught raised to 4, right? So the value you are given is sigma into T naught raised to 4. So you can take T naught raised to 4 common from here. You'll have sigma into T naught raised to 4, right? Here you have 1 plus 10 by T naught raised to the power 4 minus 1, right? So sigma T naught raised to 4 is given to be 460. This into 1 plus 4 into 10 by T naught which is 300 minus 1. So you are left with 460 into 4 into 10 by 300. So you can cancel this out, you can cancel this as well. So this is, you can approximate this to 15 and 15 into 4 will give you 60 joules, right? So this will be the uh, amount of heat radiated.